Hello, I'm Renee Brack and welcome to Movie Juice. Rampage is an amazing film with footage shot in Iraq and the US by Australian war documenteur George Gittos. I interviewed him a while back about this incredible story of an American soldier who went to the front line in Iraq, then home to pursue a career in rap music with tragic consequences. He had more chance of being shot in his own hometown than going to the biggest war of our generation. This story starts in Baghdad where I was shooting scenes for my film Soundtrack to War at the palace of Uday Hussein. It was weird hearing Elliot and his buddies doing gangster rap in this gangster palace. I tell them straight to the rear, but I let these boys know when I jump up in their grill. Just for real, coming with skills, AKs and Glock. Let any boy like pancakes flip your block. Too hot, won't stop, body gon' get dropped, call a cock. They might well recognize I got it locked. Wow, <laughs> that's bloody good. I was in Baghdad and Elliot Lovett and I sort of connected and he was definitely the most talented rap artist in all those soldiers. And he said, yeah, I get shot at more in, in Miami than in Baghdad. And, well, I thought, Jeb Bush, Florida, a war in Jeb Bush's own backyard, this is a great film. So I headed off and... When I arrived, I was worried, you know, I'd flown Elliot out, you know, got him out of the army from him, all that cost. Maybe it isn't what he says it was, but as soon as Marcus pulled up in his vehicle, it was like I knew I was in a military convoy and I headed towards that house. The house kind of had less possessions in it than your average bus shelter. And the atmosphere was absolutely Mogadishu, Baghdad in the bombing, you know, like it was just a war zone. So I, I don't got shot at already. So a bullet sound or a fucking gunshot sound don't mean shit to me. My brother got killed over here. Do you think you, would you like to keep coming back to a place your brother got killed? No. Huh? People in Liberty City, where Elliot comes from, talking to the local police, uh, one in eight young men is dead by the age of 21. For Elliot, the army was, was an option to get out. Uh, he'd still be in the army, except that Every family needs a protector. Elliot come, come, has come back. He's now the soldier, you know, that's looking after the family rather than George Bush's interest in Baghdad. Hey, Elliot! <laughs> the film's Where really the story of three brothers. Elliot, the soldier, always a street fighter. Marcus, the poet, who speaks like something out of Shakespeare in rhyming couplets. And then there's Denzel, the rising star. So I'm going to be on TV one day. Y'all already know that. Never would be competition. I'm leaving you niggas missing for This film's really a rap opera. And it's probably the first opera documentary ever made where people actually sing about the huge events in their lives spontaneously just as they happen and we've been able to capture that our music our war when it comes to adventurous tv it's on channel 413 that's the channel you're watching now movie extra